This is the MLD bag or quilt liner and it's probably the most amazing, useful bit of kit that is worth taking, you know, on, on pretty much every camp. It's 85 grams and easily fits in your pocket. It's tiny. And you can see how floaty light, you know, it is. The bottom of it is two feet. It is just sewn uh, around. So it's like a great big long envelope. And the top is 28 inches elasticated. Top. I'm about five foot eight. Can I do myself up? <laughs> can we finally, can we finally shut the hobs up? Is it possible? Is it possible to shut the hobs up? Hello? Hello? Hello in there? Um, so as you can see, you know, at five foot eight, I can, I can do it up completely. My guess it's about six feet long. I can articulate knees easily, you know, in there. There is, you know, there's plenty of room to do. To do, you, you can dance in here. <laughs> it's a good job there's no, good job there's nobody around. It's plenty, very, very spacious, you know, Obviously, if you missed a fatty, you might have more of a problem, but, you know, there, there is, there's plenty, plenty of space. I tend to use it more as a bag liner. If you're enjoying this video, like, subscribe, share, notification button, all. Keep watching. If it's cold and I'm feeling a little bit cool, then I'll put this inside the bag and then I'll get inside this and I'll either, I'll maybe cinch it under my arms. Sometimes I'll cinch it over a shoulder or something, but usually when I'm eating, watching a film, you know, doing something in camp, then I will cinch it up under my shoulder, under my armpits. And that kind of just gives you a microclimate within your quilt or sleeping bag and it does make a noticeable difference like i said i know it fits inside very well let's just see obviously this is an mld quilt but let's have a look so this is the MLD Spirit Quilt. 28. I have done a video on this. That is effectively me inside the quilt there. And then, you know, that is It's maybe on the snugger side up the top. I think you can quite clearly see plenty of room down there. This bit here, it's snugger. Don't forget, please share my video if you are enjoying it on social media. Also, please drop a comment below, like, and subscribe thank you it looks difficult to get in but it was relatively easy and very comfortable once I was in let's keep watching trying to oh hang on there we go <laughs> that's kind of the the quilt that's the that's the liner and then obviously just make sure that you've got that you're not sitting on any folds or or anything 
like that. And I think as long as you're not, I mean, I think, I think, I think that's okay. I don't think that's compressing it, you know, because that's my arm up. <laughs> that's my, that's my arm moving, just in case you think I'm excited to see you all. That's my arm, you know, and if I have my arm to my side, you know, I don't feel like it's compressing. So I think it's okay. I think maybe the foot end is fine. The foot end at two foot is fine. And I'm 95, and I'm 90 to 95 percent sure that this part is not really being compressed much, if at all. It was unquestionably warmer this way. But if you're asking Ron to, to do one and he can do it, then I would probably be requesting rather than 28 on this, because I'm not the biggest of people, you know, I'd probably be requesting 30 to 32 on, on the top, you know, just to give you a little bit more room. But like I said, I've got that snug around me quite ni <laughs> Oof, quite nicely and it's it's almost it's almost turned this this quilt in, into a makeshift sleeping bag. The basic settings is that so minimum minus two average half of a degree and maximum ten which is because it's the sun's out this is the spirit quilt 28 and 28 is the equivalent to about minus five centigrade now i have to say as i've always said you have to add you know a minimum of five and for me it's really a minimum of 10 degrees centigrade to whatever the bag comfort rating is so last night, yeah, so I, I wore the same last night, but a wind shirt. Um, and really that just helps keep the head a little bit warmer because the breeze is. I, did not, I didn't wear this. I know Ron's website says that this adds five degrees. Now is that five centigrade or five Fahrenheit? Because there's, there's a difference. What you're looking at, I, I would say, you know, being realistic, that this will add maybe two or three centigrade to your bag it certainly it certainly creates a microclimate within your sleeping bag i've i've always found this very very comforting and very very nice and i never tangle in it is very lightweight so yeah i mean like i said you can see it works as an over as an over thing too i think it's like i said i don't think you're going to get it over a three season down sleeping bag i think this bit up here is going to start compressing it a bit too much but certainly you know a two two three season sleeping bag you might just get away with it because i think there is a market um from what i hear people they don't seem to be able to use their sleeping bags and tents properly and they keep getting them wet and damp um i've never had that problem myself but i don't know um you know when people do seem to be talking about bag covers and i think this would make a good bag cover this material um, it's incredibly breathable. Okay, voiceover time. Now listen very carefully. I will say this only once. This evening when I slept in it, it did get quite moist on the outside and in between the, the liner and the quilt. But by the morning, it was dry. How do I turn a short video into such a long thing but then you know when you're in camp you know sitting up okay the the, the tie point may not be in exactly the right place because i didn't put it in the right place but you can see when i'm sitting up in camp inside you know with the quilts inside i can i can snug it around myself like that 
And then I got my down jacket on. And that would be well cozy, you know. <laughs> that would be very nice. And it's not compressing it. Like I said, here there's plenty of room. It's just this bit here. Bring in mind, I've got a bit of a fat stomach as well, but you know, I'm not as fat as, <laughs> I'm not as big as some, some people, you know, and I just think that by the time you've got a sleeping bag there as well, you probably just need a little bit more alienated every single one of my, every one of my fat subscribers now, let's see. We're, we're, we're in a, no, that's, that's probably why we've only got like one or, th one or ten. <laughs> viewers <laughs> they're all probably in exact size and shape that I haven't insulted over the years right it's the next morning and as you can see it's still very puffy um, down here there's lots of air uh, I did not need at all my down boots I thought maybe it would get you know, so cold that I've been, I, I didn't need down boots. Um, it just worked out that way, but you know, I didn't. And the, the you know, the, the liner over the um, Spirit Quilt 28, it most definitely did make a very big difference, particularly down the foot end, because if you think about it, the foot end you know, it does have that tiny little hole. It's not very big, and you, you, there is a bung to go in the hole. Of the quilt. But I was starting to find that my feet were getting cold or cool last night. Now, whether it's because of that, or just generally my feet were getting cold, even though I had the liner inside the quilt, when I put the liner over the top of the quilt and my feet started to warm up quite quickly and they never cooled off again, it definitely does make a difference putting, you know, something around your bag. The only thing is, like I said, I do think that, you know, I've got a little bit of a stomach but not that much, you know, all things considered. And, you know, that's, <laughs> that's as much material as I've got spare so you know I don't think it was compressing too much uh, you know the the lining I felt a little bit cool on my top area um, you know in, in the morning but again not 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 so much and I had this down jacket on so you know I was wearing <laughs> A t-shirt, a shirt, a wind shirt, a fleece, and then this down jacket as well. So I had all of that on. I am quite cold. I think there must have been some compression going on, but not too much. <laughs> I did wear all of that and that in about minus one, and I was quite comfortable, you know, with that. I'm guessing the down was probably being compressed, you know, a little bit. But uh, I don't think too badly. But it was definitely cosy, and it was definitely cosy and and warm. Yes, I think putting the the liner over most definitely makes a difference with the spirit quilt, or indeed probably any sleeping bag. Uh, but just be careful that you don't compress it because it's it's close, you know, it's close. If you're enjoying this video, like, subscribe, share, notification button, all. Obviously here I haven't got an inner, I del kind of deliberately did that uh, <laughs> for you lot. Um, but you don't really need an inner in, in the winter, to be honest. I don't really know why so many people insist on... I think you've all turned into a bunch of Jesses out there, <laughs> to be honest. You really don't need an inner in the winter. If Chris Townsend doesn't need an inner in the winter, um, and I take most of my inspiration from that direction, you know, I really don't see why everybody else is Jessified to insisting on inners in the winter. <laughs> If that 73 year old can manage without an inner, I'm sure it's you, you young old farts can too. Anyway, um, that's the way the world's gone, I guess. <laughs> All a load of Jesses these days. Anyway, <laughs> Tony's YouTube rant. 
Anyway.